many of the routes people take to migrate are known. The routes and the people who take them are often interdependent and interlinked. However, assumptions about the migrants, the people who facilitate their movement legally and illegally, and the way that these are connected are mostly anecdotal. The Institute for Security Studies and Global Initiative Against Transnational Organized Crime's research into migrant smuggling seeks to fill this evidence gap. So far, we know that to assume that all migrant smugglers are the same or connected and coordinated would be wrong. Different hubs and systems have their own smuggling ecosystems involving a range of players from organized criminal gangs to community members that support the industry and profit from the migrant trade. Policymakers have broadly failed to take into account the nuance required, that approaches that may have worked, even if temporarily, in reducing flows from Turkey cannot be replicated in the Maghreb or in sub-Saharan Africa, where the interests of both the countries and the communities is markedly different. For migrants from West Africa and the Sahel, routing through Niger and Libya's southern corridor, smuggling is a vast industry and a resilience mechanism in a region characterized by fragile states and weak economies. Here, migration is a norm, and smuggling has only been recently criminalized and at the request of European states. The lack of security in Libya has increased the risk for migrants, but provides few opportunities to intervene for the international community. Closing down the industry in Niger may be possible, but comes with serious risks of exacerbating other security threats, such as changing the current security equilibrium in northern Niger. In East Africa and the Horn, illicit migration also serves as a resilience mechanism, but for different reasons. Ongoing civil conflict and interstate clashes as well as a number of authoritarian regimes, mean that migrants spend as much money and effort to leave their own home states as they do seeking passage elsewhere. The Khartoum Process, a multilateral endeavor initiated by the EU under the Valletta Trust Fund, has brought together Horn of Africa states to counter human trafficking and migrant smuggling. But this raises additional concerns about human rights adherence by local actors meeting international norms and standards. All of these issues from the Sahel, North Africa, East Africa and the Horn need more sustainable solutions. Each region has unique dynamics that must be better understood and used to inform critical, tailor-made responses. The ISS and its partners seek to better understand the varied facets of migration bridging the gap between anecdotes and fact.